Hello, I'm Alex from the Seven Rivers Trust and I'm going to talk to you today about Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems, or SUDS for short. Firstly, the Seven Rivers Trust. We are an environmental charity working in the River Seven catchment to improve the water quality, ecology and wider environment within the Seven and all its tributaries. We also actively engage with yourselves, the wider community, and encourage you to be part of your local river, whether that's through volunteering, reporting, monitoring, or just walking the dog. As a product officer for the Trust, I work primarily within the Worcestershire Middle Seven area, which includes major rivers such as the Worth and the Stowe in the West Midlands. This is one of six catchment based approached areas that makes up the Seven CABA, which is part of the wider National CABA initiative. For this talk and demonstration, I will be focusing more so on a River Stour catchment, which starts in the Black Country, makes its way west through Stourbridge, turning south through Kidderminster before joining the Seven in Stourport. We are currently co-hosting a long-term work programme called Salmon in the Stour alongside our partners at the local Wildlife Trust and the Environment Agency. This talk is part of the wider community engagement aspect of that, of that work programme. As part of many of our pro uh, projects, the Salmon in the Stour in particular, we are working to reduce the impact of urban runoff in our, into our local rivers, which can in turn reduce localised flood risk. In urban areas this can be a particular issue as an increasing number of drainage systems are becoming inundated during rainfall events, most of which overflows directly into the local river from the road drains. This effluent carries with it a plethora of metal and organic elements that have a significant detrimental impact to the local environment and in stream ecology. With the increasing demand for housing and development pressures on our local rural areas, these issues are likely to increase. SUDS work has been delivered successfully throughout the country, including here in the Seven Catchment by ourselves and other partners. A great example of SUDS on a larger scale is the Telford Love Your River project, which worked with businesses, communities and local authorities to help reduce runoff, misconnections and litter issues within the town water courses. The following demonstration is going to show you SUDS on a smaller scale and how every household can make small changes which could cumulatively have a drastic effect on the local river environment as well as having the potential to reduce localised flooding. This is our SUDS house. It is a working model that shows how an average semi-detached house can have a drastic effect on the drainage network and how making small changes to how the water that falls on that property is returned to the river system. So, how does it work? Firstly, as you can see, we have two semi-detached properties, both with working drain pipe systems, typical of most households in the UK. There is a large cloud above the house, which we will make rain and watch where the water goes through the system. There is a fully functioning drainage network underground that you can see here and when working we'll be able to see the rainwater flowing through them. Both houses have a separate drainage system so we can see the overall impact of both properties on the drainage and river network and this is where a bit of imagination is required. These drainage pipes flow from each house and each end of the, of the model and out through this pipe and into these buckets, one for each house. When we watch the outcome, you'll need to imagine that these buckets are the local river and these two pipes are the drains outfalls that fall into that river. You'll notice the two houses are slightly different. Here's why. This driveway is standard tarmac or impermeable paving and there is a little in the way of garden or green space. The neighbouring house, however, is what we're really interested in. This is demonstrating how interceptors can reduce the rainfall inundating the drainage network and helping to reduce that contamination and potential flood risk. These interceptors include a water butt, a rain garden, a green roof, swales and settling ponds. The driveway is also made of permeable paving which allows water to soak through slowly through the material into the groundwater system. There is then very little left going into the drainage network in one big flush. Instead, it is released slowly back into the ground and any that does go into the drains has been filtered in some capacity, reducing the levels of contaminants it takes to the river. So here we have two cups of water, same volume, same liquid, one for each house.
So, how good was that? We can see in these buckets the difference in the quantity between the Suds house and the normal house and how much has been absorbed by the green interceptors. Now, I'd like to give you a couple of things to consider. The UK average rainfall for the West Midlands is 680ml every year. In the style catchment, it is in the range of 640 to 830 mil every year, so quite a bit higher than the UK annual average. The style catchment covers an area of 374.6 square kilometres, with a population in excess of half a million people across parts of the Black Country, Staffordshire and Worcestershire. If we average three people per household across that area, that's nearly 167,000 households. Now, I'm not going to say that every single household needs to have a fully functioning rain garden and green roof, but if every one of those 167,000 properties fitted one single standard 100 litre water butt, just like this one, onto their downpipe, that would be over 16.5 million litres of water stored and not flushed into the drains. That volume is difficult to comprehend, but that's enough water to fill over 6.5 Olympic sized swimming pools at 50 metres long, 25 metres wide and 2 metres deep. There are other things you can do. And we've seen our permeable paving works to reduce overland runoff and allow the water to soak through into the water table and be stored naturally in the groundwater. This is something I would encourage anyone thinking of repaving their driveways to do. A standard two car driveway is approximately 6 by 6 metres. So for the West Midlands average rainfall of 680 mil per year, that would be 24,500 litres of runoff every year that could be redirected into the groundwater and away from the drainage network per household. On a more general note, I'd also like to take this opportunity to have a think about river catchments as a whole and how we imagine a catchment to work. On a map, the geographical source of a river is normally in its headwaters. The small little streams that flow through the hills and pop up from springs that link together to make the upper catchments. These then flow downstream into what we consider the river which continues off to the sea. But what if we take a more holistic view of the source? What if we consider the source to be anywhere in the catchment where water enters the flowing water cycle? What if the source wasn't just the single geographic location on a map? What if it was the tap in your kitchen, the toilet in your bathroom, or the hose in your garden? How about we think of every single water outlet as being the source of everyone's own personal tributary each flowing towards the main river and off to the sea. Now imagine that there's life in all those little personal tributaries, fish, invertebrates, birds, mammals, that rely on the water being the cleanest and purest it can be. After all, we all depend on the same water they do. I'm Alex, I hope you will consider where the rain that falls on your home goes once it hits the ground. Thank you and goodbye.